There was a scene where I walked through the airport going, going, uh, Clint Handsome, everyone, Clint Handsome. And I'm like trying to like tell everyone in the airport that this is a famous actor. And so when we were in Vancouver landed and we're walking to our gate, I was, I was like, Robert Buckley, everyone, Robert Buckley, ladies and gentlemen, Robert Buckley. And he's like, will you shut up? And it literally felt like real brothers. Oh my gosh, it's Clint Handsome. Oh, can we get a selfie with you? We are your oh. biggest fans. Yeah. You two play brothers headed home for the holidays in this movie. Robert, what inspired you to create this film? Initially, it was this ridiculous tradition that my family started when I was very, very young of decorating our house. And it just evolved into this extreme Christmas makeover, like a real Texas sized Christmas in our house. And, um, and we became known in our town and the local towns as the Christmas house. Like elementary schools would take field trips to our house. It was a proper attraction. And when I mentioned this uh, uh, to, uh, to someone, I said, you know, that could be a, that could be a movie. And then a Hallmark executive heard about it and was like, that actually is interesting. Do you want to talk about it? And, uh, and that was sort of the beginning of the process of like, yeah, let's go ahead and pimp out this awesome childhood memory and make a movie. Think you're ready for this? The legendary Mitchell family Christmas house. No surface, inside or out, left untouched. The electric bill alone, record breaking. Jonathan, this movie marks the first time that Hallmark has featured an LGBTQ plus couple in one of their Christmas films. Uh -huh. What does it mean to you to get to be a part of this movie? You know, it feels like, a, it feels like progress, you know? And it feels, I'm, I feel so grateful to be a part of that progress. And, you know, I just think back to what it would be like for younger me to see a movie like this at the holidays with his family on Hallmark Channel. And to see someone that looks like me and looks like a relationship that I wanna have on camera, like in the movie, that it's just, it's, it's an honor to be able to make history on Hallmark Channel and to play this amazing storyline. And the care that went in from, you know, what Robert created with, with the writer to, to make this storyline special and real, it, it's absolutely amazing. And when I read it, I was floored that this is, this is how they were gonna do it. it. It's just perfect. They're gonna make a great dad. Come on. Thanks. So now I wanna play a game. Are you up for it? Yes. Going head to head, okay. We're going to play a game called Who Sled This? So I'm gonna read a quote from a classic Christmas movie and the first person to guess the movie title gets a point, and the person with the most points at the end wins. I made my family disappear. Home alone. Ah, good one. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets Miracle on 34th Street. It's wrong. What? That's not the right movie. Why are we so bad at this, Robert? All right, so we're gonna give you three options. Here are the choices. Go. A, White Christmas. B, Miracle on 34th Street. C, it's a Wonderful Life. It's a Wonderful Life. Wonderful Life. Santa here? Elf. Elf is right. You would know that one. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would know that one. If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around. Love actually. <laughs> You're right. Never seen it. It's in the title. I think we've made it to the final one. Oh my God. It's almost Christmas. Where's the magic? Home huh? Alone. Christmas house. Christmas house. <laughs> it's almost Christmas. Where's the magic? The Yuletide gay and the fa la la. Close. Close. Where's the magic, huh? The deck, the halls, all is calm, all is bright holiday joy. Where is it? We'll just say you both won. Everyone is a winner here, right? Everyone is a winner because it's, it's 2020. Give everyone a trophy.